love to receive a beautiful African violet for Valentine's Day. They're a great way to brighten up your home this winter, and they bloom almost all year long. My next guest is the owner of Linden Lion Greenhouses in Dolgeville, New York. He grows over 700 varieties of African violets, and he's here to show us uh, the wide range of colors and forms and shapes and how easy they are to grow. So welcome very, uh, back to Paul. Paul nice Serrano, who um, uh, you've been working with African violets for how many years now? Uh, about 40 years. 40 years. Yeah. It was a family business before you yes, took over? Yes, my grandfather started it. Oh, he it. started it. Ah. Yeah. And so um, I had one aunt who was a uh, African violet grower. And she had the most beautiful, she had glass cases in her house mm -hmm. that kept the humidity, that the right, you know, she had thermostats in those little greenhouses. And uh, I was always so envious of, of the perfect flowers. This one looks just like an orchid. This comes from Moscow, you said? Yeah, these are some hybrids from uh, Moscow. What about that, this one? That's uh, one of our chimeras. They're the striped variety. Wow. So incredible. There's quite a few of those. So African violets have pretty, well, they don't, now I'm looking at them, they don't all have the same shape leaf, because this one's variegated, this one's pointy, this one's kind of ruffled. So um, so we're going to learn how to, um, what, separate and propagate? Yes. Okay, that, yes. that I would like to know. And then I'm going to steal a leaf of each of these and take them home and start them. Okay. Okay? This is a, a problem that people have a lot at home, is they get violets, they get a quite a neck on them over time they wonder yeah. what to do and so show what a neck is that's um that the leaves part. are falling off and the yeah the leaves are falling off and the neck is growing up and out yeah so, so what they look prettier when they're coming straight out of yeah, the soil. Yeah, really, this, this part should really be sitting down on the pot. And if you over, bury over that, time, what happens? Over time, well, that's what we're going to do right oh, now. Okay. Over time, they tend to grow up and out. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to push this down. I'm going to scrape, scrape the sides oh. of the... It's kind of like bark on there over time. Hmm. You want to get that off. And we're going to squeeze it. It'll come right out of the pot. Healthy plant. We're going to take that next about a half an inch, so we're going to take about a half an inch. Oh, right off the bottom. Huh. Now, would that grow? Would this no, part no, grow? No, that, that won't do anything. Oh, it won't. And I'm going to take okay. just a little bit off the side here, so when it goes back in the same pot, oh, so it goes down in now. We're actually going to take this time to prune it and shape it a little bit. Okay. We're going to take a couple of leaves off, and then we're going to take some of the soil. So, is this what you're doing all the time at the greenhouse? Yeah, wow. And we're just going to go all the way How around. How easy that is. Now, why these little green plastic pots as opposed to clay or any other thing? Well, violets like to be in small, tight, crowded pots. They do. And the clay is, um, they're quite big. It's hard to get the small ones, and we find that Does it dry out handling faster? them, they, they break a lot. If you get oh. them shipped in, you get a lot of crack. When plastic is really just much easier okay. to deal with. Now, I remember my aunt had fluorescent lights over hers, or grow lights. Those are ideal for, okay. for plants. For how many hours a day? Uh, eight or ten hours a day. So they yeah, need that. It's, it's, or direct sunlight or not direct? No, indirect. Indirect, indirect sunlight. So that's ready to go? That's ready to go. Oh, and that will reflower? That'll reflower. How nice. How easy. That's good. Now, what about the leaves? If, what would you do with those leaves to get them to grow? That's another way, right? Yeah, I'm going to give you one. Okay. Take one. And I just draw my thumb nail down well, about half an inch, three quarters of an inch, and just go like that, and you get a clean okay. break. Yep. And then we're just going to take one of these utensils, make a little slit, and just set it right in there so that maybe 10 or 20% of the leaf goes right down in, into okay. the mix. Okay. And that's it? And that's it. Ah. And I'm going to show you one more thing. This is a violet that, instead of propagating How many of you in the hoodie, audience grow African violets? Anybody? Uh, oh, yes, there are quite a few of you. Huh. <laughs> Do you know all these tricks? Anybody know these tricks? No. Nobody knows your tricks. Uh -huh. I'm going to actually sever this one totally and leave just a little bit of a, a nub there. And we're going to take these leaves, which, which we can put down in that Okay, I'll do that, that too. Mix. Okay. What kind of, which one is this one? Um, is it something one, that I want to grow? This one is Mirage. I'm going to scrape that again just to get some of that bark off. So I've got a, a, a smaller plant now with a little bit of a, a neck left on top. 
I'm going to make just a little opening And that here, will grow? And I'm going to set that right in there like that and push that down with that utensil so it's sitting right down in the pot. Mm -hmm. It could have been put in there and done the same way, but I like this technique. This is a like a soda bottle that you, you cut in half. Oh. Makes so, we're right, we're, so we're re oh how fantastic! So we're recycling. Now, how much moisture goes in here? I'd fill it up so you see the water maybe just start to go to the to the bottom. Excellent. And then that can be closed. So these little food boxes, these little sandwich boxes or whatever, and, and, you, and you can take a sharpie marker, mark and the, the date. name, and you can write the date and the and the leaf right right on there. And so these are already growing. These are already growing. That's the beginning stage when we put the leaves down. Look. This is about two months' time. Really? And we've got the little babies coming up. It's still a little too early to pot them. So okay. we're going to go to this tray here, which I'm, is about I'm, six months beyond. Wow, look how and many. These, these guys are really ready. Oh, they are. So we're going to slide this right out into this tray. And we're going to take a clump there. and. So this you throw away? That can be thrown away. Okay. Yeah, that won't do anything. We're going to take some of these and just kind of separate it. I love doing this. This is the kind of work that, like on a Sunday night, when you're thinking about the week ahead, this is like the perfect thing to go work someplace by yourself and nobody bothering you. It's so now there's nice. Every, every time when you put a leaf down, you'll get a number of crowns. So you want to okay. separate the individual crowns. Okay. Get it down to a I single hope. crown. It's all right. Pull. That's they're pretty durable. Pull. Oh yeah, here's one. And here's a pot. And I would take one of those little devices if you want, or use your use my fingers. Put it way down. Yeah. Now these leave the roots long like that. If if the bottom is a little too too long, you can yeah. just break pinch a little bit of that off. Okay. Put it right in there. So fun. Then it's all set to go. Yeah. And you'll have flowers in how, how long? Uh, these will probably be ready in just a few months. So they really like little tiny confined spaces. Yeah. It's better to bring them up in stages. I see. And what about feed? Uh, food. They need to be food. They need to be, be fed. fed. <laughs> uh, the three big mistakes I find in all the years of being business is um, people tend to overpot, overwater, and underfeed. I Most see. people ask me what's wrong with their plants, and I ask them they're not feeding, so that's a major thing. So they move into feed. a smaller apartment. Yep, right, cut yeah. your hair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and eat good food. That's a good thing. Well, thank you very much. We learned a lot about African violence. Perfect, thank you.